All right, guys, today we're going to be uh, slicing up, printing, and painting one of these FlexiFox files. I picked this up over at uh, Cults 3D from FlexiFactory. Let's dump her into Cura and look at some settings. So, the nice thing about these Flexi models is they don't need any supports. And if you don't know what supports are, they can be tricky. This is one nice thing that they need no supports. Now based, even though I'm seeing some red here, everywhere you see red is where it's going to be suggested that you have supports. We're going to print it without them. See what happens. Now the infill we're going to leave at the recommended 20. And we're going to use grid. Uh, let's take a look at... Quality is going to be on normal. And walls... Three, that's pretty usual. Fill gaps between walls everywhere. I, I always leave this one on. Um, that's good for in there. Let's look at speed. Now we're going to do this on the FL Sun Super Racer, which you can print anywhere between 150 and if you really wanted to push it 200 millimeters per second, which is really fast. Uh, my Viper only prints at 60 millimeters per second. Okay, so I basically I toned these speeds down. You know, going to overall print speed 100, infill speed 75, wall speed 50, inner wall speed 100. Leave that up a little bit high. Uh, travel speed, I go ahead and leave that at 150. Uh, supports, we want to make sure that this is unchecked. We don't want any supports on there and build plate adhesion defaulted to skirt we're going to leave skirt on it we don't need a brim or a plate or this is probably going to stick fairly well there's a lot of the model is flat on the bed so let's go ahead and leave that like that and slice this up the more complex the model is the longer it takes to slice up and it depends on your laptop, computer, whatever. So we're looking at hour 47. That's not bad at all. Um, most time spent is going to be on inner walls. 28 minutes. Um, infill, 14 minutes. Not bad. But an hour 47, that's pretty good. And this is, uh, this is 6 inches long. This is all red and met... Um, millimeters over here too. We're going to print it at 75 percent. So that's that's pretty good an hour 47. Anyhow let's uh let's get this onto the disc and over to the printer. Alright so this has been printing for a little while and first layer went down no problems. It's looking pretty cool. I don't know how they make these uh, flexi models but as you can see there's gaps in between the the pieces that just get connected by other parts and they don't stick together and don't know how I do it it's a, it's uh it's pretty cool there's a little close up before we move forward infill's going pretty good I don't hear any scraping of the the nozzle which is good All right, this is about three hours into it. It's getting up to the head part there. Everything's looking real good. We'll pull it off the plate as soon as it's done and see how flexible it is. Here we are. This is about three minutes in. I think the total is going to be three hours and three minutes. That's about what it called for in Cure. So we'll let it cool down a little bit as soon as this finishes and then pull it off the flex plate. By the way, flex plate on the uh, Super Racer is new. I just added this in and I love it. Alright, this bed's still pretty hot, but I think we can get it off. I'm guessing you have to be a little careful. You don't break the joints. I 
There you go. I don't well, here's the paint up on the Flexi Fox. Came out pretty good. Let's take a look up close. All right, there's the final paint up. Came out nice. The paint didn't affect the flexibility. Uh, was a little bit of a pain trying to get the brush in the grooves and whatnot. So next time I'm probably just going to get some orange filament and just paint the white accents on it in the black. Make things a lot easier. But I really like this model. I got about three, three or four other Flexies from Flexi Factory to try out. So I'll put a link in the description over to Cults 3D where I picked up this model if you want to try it out. And I got a few more of these coming this way, so stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next project.